So I try to use electrochemical way to convert heat to electricity. And also we focus more on the low grade heat because the temperature is low. So basically it is very challenging to efficiently con con uh, convert the low grade heat to electricity. Thermal charging battery is kind of new technologies to convert the low grade heat into electricity. And uh, we are trying to make some um, batteries which can be direct charged by heat without apply it to any temperature gradient. Our cell is uh, made by asymmetric electrodes and uh, uh, we use graphene oxide with platinum nanoparticles at the cathode and the polyethylene at the anode and um, when the cell is heated to a higher temperature the thermal voltage could be uh, generated and the thermal voltage is coming from two parts. One is from the thermal induced pseudo capacitive effect of graphene oxide because when you heat the graphene oxide up, the reactions of graphene oxide will can be absorb the protons from the electrolyte and this will induce a higher voltage of the uh, cell. And um, the other part is the thermal galvanic effect from the electrolyte. It's because the intrinsic properties of the ferric ferrous electrolyte. So the operation is isothermal operation. Yeah, because uh, people usually they need a temperature difference. Yeah, but the challenge is a low grade heat, the temperature is very low. So the temperature difference is very small. And also it is very hard to maintain this uh, temperature, small temperature difference, sustainable. So that's why uh, we actually, uh, we don't need the temperature difference. So we operate in the isothermal condition and then can generate a uh, large amount of electricity. If we can convert body heat to electricity and power on some flexible sensing electronics, that'll be very cool. Yeah, because uh, a, a human body is about 32 degrees C and also we have uh, this 32 degrees C all the time, right? So actually we are, uh, permanent heat source, maybe not permanent, <laughs> but we are heat source actually, uh, big heat source. Yeah, so uh, the heat, uh, if we can uh, recover this body heat and to you know, convert it to electricity to power on the sensing electronics, so we can uh, you know, uh, use for the uh, many different purposes, for, for example, like healthy monitoring system. So we can uh, power on the sensor, and sensor can you know, transfer the signal, and then we have possibly have a tele medicine uh, practice uh, in the future. But this device is a new design. So if talking about this device to invent this uh, new device, I think uh, uh, we are the first group and I possibly the first person.